One of my more popular videos from 2021 is going to be five really tough ladies found in Kindle Unlimited books. And I thought it would be a fun follow-up to give you five more books found on Kindle Unlimited that have like great fighter chicks in them. Starting at number five is going to be the Red Rider series by Kate Avery Ellison. This is a Red Riding Hood fairy tale mashup story. I have mixed feelings about the series as a whole, but there were a couple books in it that were excellent. And Red Red or Mara is an excellent like fighter girly. She starts off like in a rebellion against these werewolves that are way more powerful than people, ends up getting within the werewolf society and like learns to fight and battle and do all these cool things and she gets in an arena and beats a werewolf so that's pretty awesome. And then she eventually becomes like a spy slash thief and steals like other girls away from the werewolves and learns all these like cool tracking and fighting techniques and makes all these plans and stuff. The series is not 100% cohesive. There are definitely some parts that are better than others, but I do think that Mara displays all of the tough fighter chick stereotypes. She learns to fight good. She is rebellious and independent. She defends those who can't defend themselves. She steals away people who are in bad situations and gives them a better life someplace else. She questions both sides of the war and questions whether or not the rebels are any better than the status quo and she comes up with plans both with the rebels and with the status quo as well as like internal plans of her own and executes all of them in a way that like works out for her and for the underdog. Next is going to be the Darkest Mind series by Alexandria Bracken. I think only book one in this series is actually on Kindle Unlimited and sometimes the complete series is also available on Kindle Unlimited. It is definitely worth it. We start to get to know this character when I think she's 16 or 17, maybe 18, but she was torn away from her family at 11 and put into like a camp style scenario where she's been treated cruelly and beaten down and dismissed and she is afraid of herself, afraid of her surroundings, afraid for everyone around her and she goes from being fearful to being like a super strong power full person, has control of the situation around her, is able to work as a team. I think that transformation is incredibly satisfying. I think where she ends up as a character is uplifting and hopeful. And I think the Darkest Mind series by Alexandria Bracken goes through a couple different genres, which is like a little bit weird, but also very entertaining and kind of gives you this sense that like the series could go anywhere next. And you know, I'm just a sucker for someone starting off like young and like finding their voice or their power or like what makes them good and really developing that and becoming something great with it. Next is going to be Trinity from the Trinity Jones series by Melody Lynch. This is a series of urban fantasy novellas where Trinity is a detective and she does a bunch of undercover work. She has some fights and skirmishes. She gets some chase scenes. She is like your stereotypical noir detective except she's female and black and it's awesome. I like that she has great fighter instincts, she has good detective instincts, she gets into like some real honest skirmishes, and she's actually injured in some of these skirmishes and dealing with some of those injuries while continuing her investigation. It's not a situation where she gets hurt, then just like magically everything is better. I think books one and three are really good. Two is a little bit confusing, it's kind of like a breather in between. This is an ongoing series, really quick reads, and I think you'll know right away in book one whether or not this is something you'd want to look more into. Next is going to be Tassan from Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. I read both Daughter of No Worlds and The Crowns of Nixia. Technically both of the leading ladies there are strong fighter chicks, but I picked Tassan specifically because she starts off as a slave and even when she is enslaved she has like the mindset of like that tough fighter chick. She's not giving up, she's gonna buy her freedom, she's gonna learn everything she can around her to be like more resourceful and better able to like navigate the world and then she's gonna go to the order, learn her magic, learn to fight and come back and free everyone. And she always keeps her cool, she has a plan, she's in a lot less mental turmoil than Araya is, which is why I chose her. Shows a lot more of that strong, tough fighter resilience that you expect and want in like that tough fighter chick story. And I think the way that she continues to learn more different kinds of powerful fighting skills and different ways to like infiltrate and attack and win and get what she wants and she has such a great goal is really exciting and
and fun. And last is gonna be Alex Stern from the Alex Stern series by Lee Bardugo. I love Alex. She is so resilient and determined and dogged and she doesn't care what she has to do to get whatever her end goal is. She's gonna go in there, conquer, and come out victorious or she's not gonna come out at all. And because the Alex Stern series is set in a world where everything is so dark, depressing, and damaging, the fact that Alex is willing to go to these extremes and won't take no for an answer feels fitting and good and it feels nice to root for her and not to care about what the fallout is as long as she achieves her goals. It's not like a great realistic story. There's a ton of problematic elements in it. I love the clean feel of it that you can just go in there, have Alex's back, root for her the whole time regardless of what terrible extreme she's gone to for something because nobody there is doing anything good or of value. <laughs> and that's going to be an update on my five badass slash kickass ladies in fiction found on Kindle Unlimited. This is a shorter one, but I think it might be helpful for people looking for that fantasy, fiction, badass kind of lady. If you enjoy this kind of video recommendation, please leave a like here so I know that you want more like this. And also let me know in those comments down below who is a tough fighter chick that you've read recently in Kindle Unlimited. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep reading. Bye!